Hi, Summer Inventors. It's Mindy again. And today we're going to talk about parts of an envelope and how to address an envelope. So here's a worksheet that you got in your packet and you can use the information here to cut out these pieces and glue them on the envelope so you can have all your information in the right spot. Let's do it together. So what we'll need for this activity is your paper from your packet and some glue and some scissors. And the first thing we're going to do is cut out these two addresses and the stamp that's on the right hand side of your paper. So we're just going to cut this part out and these are going to serve as a reminder to tell us where we put our stamp and our return address and our mailing address. So um, here's the first one and then here's the next one. You have that return address and the mailing address. And then this is our little pretend stamp. It's just a cutout and we're not gonna really put this in the mail because it doesn't have um, the postage on it from the post office. So then all these three things, you're gonna paste down. So I'm gonna take the first one and put glue in the back. And if we look at the picture at the top, it says that the stamp goes right here on the top right hand corner. So we're gonna glue that down right there on the top right hand corner. And then it says the return address goes in the top left hand corner. So we'll take this one that says return address like this and we'll put glue on the back and paste it right up there in the top for the return address. And then the last one is our delivery address. That's our sender's address, wherever we're gonna send it to. So we'll put some glue on the back of that one. And then we'll put, it says for this one, you gotta put it right in the middle. So we're gonna put our delivery address right in the middle there. Okay, so now this is our guide of everything we need to send our envelope. Now let's make our own envelope. Now, if I try to make an envelope with a color like yellow, I'll show you on this scrap paper. The yellow is too light and you won't be able to see it very well. So I think it would be much better if I used a dark color. And then sometimes red and orange and yellow, they can be too bright and distracting too. So it's better if you use a darker color. So I think I'm just gonna use black. So we're gonna mail this letter to Mr. Dwyer. So first we write the person's name. We're gonna put Mr. Dwart Brown. So this letter is gonna to go to him. And then we're gonna mail this to Central Community House where Mr. Durant, Bar, Mr. Duart works. So we'll put his address at Central Community House. We have 1150 East Main Street, and we can abbreviate East by just putting an E, and then Main Street. And then we abbreviated Street by just putting an ST. And then Central Community House is in Columbus, Ohio. So we're just gonna put Columbus there with a little comma and OH for Ohio. And then the zip code, which is 43205. All right, look, I wrote really big on that spot. So on the top where I have to do my return address, I'm gonna have to write a little bit smaller so you can see it a little better. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm writing right there. And this letter is coming from Miss Mindy. So the first thing I'll do is put my address there. And then I'm a teacher in Whitehall, so I'm gonna put my teaching address, which is 675 South Yearling Road. And the S is abbreviated for South. And then I'll put Yearling Road. And that's also Columbus, even though it's really Whitehall and I'll put an OH. And look, I'm starting to run into his uh, address, so I'm gonna have to make it really small. And the address there is, uh, the zip code is 43213. Just enough room. Now I'm gonna have to go to the post office and get a stamp so I can put it right here on this side so I can mail my envelope. I hope you guys have fun addressing your envelopes and then maybe you'll send us something that you made. That would be great. Mr. Duarte would really look forward to that. You guys have fun.